I'm Amy Boshra, uh, and my uh, project titled Using Multiple Interactive Learning Methods or Algorithm in Teaching Physiology uh, of the Digestive System to Second Year Medical Students uh, under supervision of my great advisor, Dr. Marwa uh, el uh, Here is uh, my gunshot. Actually, my main rationale or my main issue is to enhance en engagement of second year medical students in particular to attend to increase attendance to, uh, of physiology sessions particularly the lectures my gun chart was as follow literature review was in january and february i read a lot of papers actually and then i started uh, in march to uh, form my project team and then i conduct a focus group discussion to uh, faculty members of my department and uh, distributed questionnaire uh, on the students uh, to analyze data to uh, assess the needs and based on that i put my uh, objectives and learning outcomes then i got my irb uh, approval actually march was a very busy month and then i made a pilot on a small group of dental students and this was my first intention actually is to uh, try or to implement the uh, interactive learning methods on a small group, not large group. Then when I have a good feedback, I implement the selected interactive methods on second year medical students in April and May. During this time, I also used Kahoot as a, a formative assessment tool to the students. Uh, in uh, May and uh, rest of May, J uh, June uh, till July, I collect the feedback from the students and the distributed questionnaires. And uh, uh, now I'm uh, uh, we are on uh, analyzing the data and also uh, the GIT exams uh, scores of second and third year medical students because also third year medical students studied uh, GIT physiology uh, in the first term but by the uh, traditional method. So I'm trying to compare the results or the scores of the two uh, uh, cohorts or two uh, patches in order to uh, uh, see the significance of or the impact of uh, the interactive learning method. Then, on in uh, July till uh, uh, October, I I'm I started already and uh, working on writing the research paper. Uh, and in September and October, uh, I'll prepare my poster and uh, present it. I I think according to the schedule, will be in October. The uh, lessons learned. Uh, um, number one, read, read, read. I all I, I always say read, read, read until you can plant the seed. Uh, actually, before starting my project, I changed my mind tw twice, and this was very frustrating. But uh, I, I didn't know where, where to, uh, how to start, and uh, from where I should start. As I have a mountain to climb, as I had to climb, or very heavy burden to uh, carry. But thank God, once I started, the process was going so smoothly, uh, more than I ever expected. So it's a matter of us to have Plan B or Plan C, if possible. I should be malleable and put on my mind that my path will not always be uh, strewn with roses. Challenges and obstacles exist all the time, but the impossible is only in my mind. Uh, it's a matter of mindset. Uh, uh, it's so interesting to try a new method and so interesting to give the students space to be creative and innovative. And they actually amazed me many times during the course. Uh, about the change, uh, the change, uh, the major change was to change the whole project, but when I started already, I changed my target students from small group to large group. So I have to work on my methods and to modify and to choose the most uh, appropriate and suitable methods for large group. Uh, and this was the main change uh, made to um, my project. So change means to me chance and challenge to be more creative, to be more innovative, uh, to search for tools, either for learning or assessments in order to enhance my students engagement and satisfaction and actually i got a marvelous feedback from them i got a marvelous feedback from either dental students or uh, medical uh, students here are some of our activities uh, uh, we 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 tried uh, modified jigsaw technique flipped classroom uh, class gamification uh, gp uh, game based learning kahoot problem based learning and role playing our slogan was and will always be learning while having fun Thank you for listening so much.